question on polygons. Questions are from first terminal exam 2019. Look at the first question. In figure, the outer angles of equilateral triangle XYZ are marked as A, B and C. Look at the figure. Outer angles are marked as A, B and C. Under that you are given two questions. A plus B plus C is equal to dash. So to find out A plus B plus C, you know in the case of an equilateral triangle, all angles are equal to 60 degree. Isn't it? So we know this angle is equal to 60 degree. Therefore, the outer angle is equal to 120 degree. In the same way, you get 60 degree here and 120 degree as outer angle. 60 degree is inner angle. So, 120 degree is the outer angle. Therefore, A plus B plus C adds up to 360 degree. Second question. If the sum of outer angles and sum of inner angles of a polygon are equal, name the polygon. The polygon is a square. Square is a regular polygon of four sides with interior angle 360, exterior angle also equal to 360 degree. Okay, come to the next question. What is the sum of angles of a hexagon? What is the sum of angles of a hexagon? For a triangle, it is 180, quadrilateral 360, pentagon 540 and for a hexagon 720 degree. So the answer is 720 degree. Second question. If the number of sides of a polygon increases 1 by 1, what will be the increment in sum of inner angles? You know, as the number of sides of a polygon increases, the number of triangles increases by 1. So the increment in the angle would be 180 degree. When one side increases, the angle of the polygon increases by 180 degree. Look at the next question. All the angles of a 9 sided polygon are equal. First question, calculate one outer angle. Sum of outer angles of a polygon is 360 degree. Now we know number of sides to be equal to 9. So we have discussed before to get each outer angle we use the formula each outer angle is equal to each outer angle is equal to 360 divided by number of sides. That is you will get 360 divided by 9 which is equal to 40 degree. So we got each outer angle to be equal to 40 degree. Come to the second question B part. Calculate one inner angle. We know inner angle plus outer angle at each vertex of a polygon gives you 180 degree. So to get the inner angle what you have to do? Inner angle is equal to 180 degree minus 40 degree. That gives you 140 degree. See part of the question. Write the sum of all inner angles. For a 9 sided polygon, sum of all inner angles will be equal to 9 minus 2 into 180 degree. Because we know sum of inner angles is calculated using the formula n minus 2 into 180. Here number of sides is 9. So I wrote 9 minus 2 into 180. That gives you 7 into 180 degree which is equal to 1260 degree. Look at the next question children. In a pentagon, how many diagonals can be drawn from a vertex to other vertices? For answering this question, you remember this as a formula. Number of diagonals that can be drawn 
from a vertex of any polygon is equal to n minus 3 where n stands for number of sides. So for a pentagon there are 5 sides. So number of diagonals that can be drawn will be equal to 5 minus 3. So you get number of diagonals to be equal to in a pentagon there are 5 sides. So we write 5 minus 3 which is equal to 2. I will show you. If you take this vertex, from this vertex you draw the first diagonal and this is the second diagonal. You can draw only two diagonals from a vertex of a pentagon. How many triangles will be made by these diagonals? 1, 2 and 3. So number of triangles formed is equal to 3. Third part of the question, what is the sum of angles of a pentagon? We know for a triangle it is 180, quadrilateral 360, pentagon 540. Or otherwise use the formula n minus 2 into 180 degree. n is equal to 5. So you get 5 minus 2, 3 into 180 degree which gives you 540. 40 degree. Come to the next question. Figure shows a rhombus and an equilateral triangle joined together. You have four sub questions under that. A question. Angle C. B, B, C is an equilateral triangle. In an equilateral triangle we know each angle is equal to 60 degree. So we can say angle C is equal to 60 degree. Now what we have to find out B part of the question A, B, D. We need this angle A, B, D. Now to get A, B, D you know this angle is equal to 60 degree because in an equilateral triangle all three angles are equal. Since this angle is 60 degree angle A, B, D is equal to 180 minus 60 degree. That gives you 120 degree. C part of the question. Angle E. We have to find angle E. We are given A, B, D, E to be a rhombus. In a rhombus you know opposite angles are equal. So we can write angle E is equal to 120 degree. Now D part of the question. What is angle A? We have to write angle A. What is angle A children? We know these two lines are parallel in a rhombus. Co-interior angles are supplementary. So to get angle A it is enough if you write 180 minus 120 which is equal to 60 degree. Come to the last question children. In figure a regular hexagon, a square and a triangle are put together. Look at the figure. This figure is a regular hexagon and this figure is a square. Now the question is, you are asked to find one angle of a square and also measures of all angles of triangle ABC. Now we know one angle of a square. Let us mark this angle. One angle of a square equal to 90 degree. Now we need the measures of triangle ABC. First of all, let us find angle ABC. Angle ABC is equal to, we know, sum of all angles around a point is equal to 360 degree. From 360 degree, we have to subtract the sum of this angle. That is angle of a square plus angle of a regular hexagon. That is 360 minus of in a regular hexagon, each angle is 120 degree plus angle of a square 90 degree. So, I can write 360 minus 210 which is equal to 150 degree. So we can say angle A 
BC is equal to 150 degree. Now we have to write these two angles. Now how can you write these two angles? We know AB and BC are equal because it is a regular hexagon and this is a square made using the same measures. So from the figure you can understand ABC is an isosceles triangle. We will say a triangle is 180 degree. One angle is given to be 150 degree. The other two angles will be 180 minus 150 divided by 2. So we get the angles are 180 minus 150 divided by 2. That is 30 divided by 2, 15 degree. So, the angles of triangle ABC are 15 degree, comma, this angle 150 degree, comma, this angle is 15 degree. Share your valuable suggestions in the comment box. Thank you.